Hey, good afternoon. Today is Friday, June the 28th, 2024. And the time now is 1.49 p.m. The topic is Trends and Headlines in Geopolitics. And this is episode four. WikiLeaks Julian Assange plea guilty for freedom. I'm going to read. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has been released due to a deal with the United States. While Nelson Mandela was the most prominent political figure of the second half of the 20th century, Julian Assange has emerged as the most notable of this social media dominated information age. He's exposing several activities relating to the United States and the activities of prominent global figures has won him endless praise around the world and condemnation from those who he exposed. He also helps the world recognize that freedom is not freedom and we are not a free world because we can be prosecuted for doing our jobs when our actions expose the misdeeds of those we trust. Mr. Assange was in prison from April 2019 to June 2024 and had previously sought refuge or protection in the Ecuadorian embassy in London. Questions or comments? Number one. Can we speculate that part of the deal requires Mr. Assange to return document he already has and refrain from publishing anything else or sharing further information with the media? Is it possible that the deal require him not to talk to the press? That is basically the case, okay? He is basically being required to turn in the remaining documents which he has not published yet. Number two, are there any hidden agendas for Mr. Assange's release? Number three, is he allowed to speak to the media? If so, about what, how, and to what degree can he reveal all he knows? Number four, will Mr. Assange be let go for true or could they harm him to silence him finally? And this is especially if he decide to talk in the future. Number five, what role did Australia play in the deal to release Mr. Assange? What pros and cons were weighed and what deals were struck? Number six, is Assange's release a let bygones be bygones move among Western leaders and governments to avoid humiliation. Number seven, while Assange's release may be a victory for free speech and for journalists who dare to release classified documents in the future, we must accept that Assange is a citizen of a Western power or allied country, which could have helped his argument or his case. However, victory will be difficult for citizens of other countries, especially the poor, the weak, the powerless in international relations, and even for US citizens. So these are the questions, but that's it friends. I am going to end here. Please tell me what you think. Please join the conversation. I want to hear from you. But thank you very much for watching The Echoing Voice. Peace.